rise and shine, and don't forget your booties, because it's cold out there today. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? Out there, it is still cold outside, but today, things are on fire. It is the Winter Derby. Welcome back, you degenerate old schoolers. Let's take a look at round six of the Winter Derby. Um, today, I'm playing Rich Shea. Rich is quite the fearsome opponent. Um, he typically is on shops or the deck. I'm kind of excited because this is this is what I want to build against. So let's take a look at the decks. Here's Rich's deck. And as I just mentioned, he's on the deck. Um, it's fairly standard. You know, uh, he wants to take control, get card advantage. Uh, it has all the answers, right? The deck's nothing new. I do like his version. He's got an amnesia in there. I've played with him before uh, when he's been playtesting amnesia. I love amnesia. And I get it because before the deck feels comfortable to go out and send its factories or its mana resources in for the win, it wants to make sure that you don't have any ways of um, destroying that artifact creature that's coming in. So amnesia is just like a second mind twist. Gets rid of the important cards and lets this thing sneak in for the win. Uh, sideboard Techie is running uh, three more creatures in the form Sarah Angel, an extra power sink, uh, two Rebs, two Bebs, a Bolt, I love the one Bolt in there, uh, and two Crips, the Tormod Crips, um, and also Maze of Ith, uh, Last Disenchant, and Ivory Tower. So. Um, it'll be interesting to see how these decks face up. Let's go back and take a little, quick look at my deck. So here's my deck. A bunch of little mana creatures um, power up into uh, Pixies and Dibs and Urnums and, and Saras. But really what I, really I want to get out and focus on here is, is limiting resources. And... A lot, there's been a lot of quick decks in the Winter Derby. The top 16's been out, so you can go look at that. Um, a lot of burn has been in there. A ton of Savannah Lions. Uh, and, and that's what's made up a lot of the top 16. So I, I want to deny mana resources here, both with you know the mocks and uh, the, the fluxes, and I, I want to take them, you know, I want to tax them for his Jame Day Tome and... Uh, and then I want to take away all the all the lands as soon as I get a creature or two up with the get. So I am looking forward to this uh, this performance. I I do think this is one of my better alternatives to fight the deck with or a robot shops deck. Um, so yeah, let's get on to game number one. And here we are with game number one. Uh, Rich started off with a mulligan, so he's going to only start with six. Well, he gets his draw. I lead with a Tundra pass. He drops a Sapphire, followed by an Ancestral. Wow. Yeah. That's always a good start. I feel like my Ancestral likes to lurk in like the bottom third of my deck. Uh, he also sticks out an Underground Sea and passes to me. There we go. That's not a, a terrible answer back. I get a Time Walk. After playing a City of Brass, so I'm at 19. Already looking forward to my Time Walk turn. Extra City of Brass, that hurts. Uh, tap them both. And my Tundra, and I lay out a dip. So, let's quick. Let's see if Rich has an answer back. He drops a Factory. passes. I'm already down to 16, so I've dealt myself four points. Those cities, City of Brass can be a, kind of painful. I swing in for three with a dip, and I play a Birds of Paradise. Wow. And an Argothian Pixies. Okay, so answer to his factory. He counterspells that. Doesn't want that leaving or laying around. Uh, I'm down to three cards and 14 life. And 
I think I missed uh, the damage to Rich. He, he should be on 17 right now. Uh, he shoves his factory worker in for two. Um, oh, look at this. He plays another factory in a time lock. Wow. Okay. So um, this is the aggro version of the deck, apparently. Okay. Uh, taps two for a Felwar Stone. And comes in with his factories. I think he smelled blood in the water once I started tapping those City of Brasses. I do have to answer him. Man, I'm down to seven in my upkeep. This is brutal. He's gotten six damage in with the factories. I've done seven to myself, I guess, between the dibs and the City Brass. I, yeah, I have a bunch of creatures, so hopefully I'll be able to power something else out here to <laughs> to be on blocking duty. I'm tapping three. I'm afraid it's another dib. Downside of dib, right? It is another dib. Okay, tap the three. No City of Brass damage. I'm going to block her up so he's not going to shove in any more damage right now, but I'm going to be taking two a turn. This is not good math on my end. And those cities are just about dead to me. I'm going to have to quit using them. Swords to Plowshare. I gained three, but he's going to stab back for four more. Wow. Okay, I swords him back. I lose one for tapping the city. He's back to 15. I'm on nine. Oh, seven. And now six of my upkeep. Yet. At least he's down to one factory. Coming for three, put him on 12, and a regrowth. Regrowth, and I'm casting Time Walk. Uh, so I had to tap the city, I go down to five. My upkeep, I go down to four with the dib. Eey. Stick in for another three. Put him on nine. Wow, this game's going quick. I still have two cards in my hand. I, I just need to be able to put someone on blocking duty here. Tap in another four. Brain Geyser for two. Okay. Wow, I'm down to three. This is brave. Okay, Land of War Elf. That wasn't bad. Um, get Mox Emerald out, Land of War Elf. That's, that's a pretty good deal. So he's a blocker. Birds can be another blocker. I'm going to make him answer my dib. He sends it in his factory for two. Throw a body in front of it. Land of War Elf is dead. He's got a planes down. And he passes. I go down to two. Come in for three. Rich is down to six. This game is going quick. I drop a soul ring and a Sylvan Library. So really I just need another body for the factory. I hope he doesn't, if he has removal, I'm dead. I'm out of cards, so it didn't really matter. Uh-oh. Yeah, there it is. 
Swords of Plowshare, gains zero life. Comes in for two. That's the game. Wow. That uh, that was a race. I, um, I, I said it earlier. I think he, he saw blood in the water and um, came in like a shark and just started murdering. Um, unfortunately, I was the victim. I didn't get to see the Armageddon or the Fluxes, um, which is really what I wanted to utilize. Uh, and with you know six of those in there, you figure you see one every ten cards. Uh, three Geddens and three Fluxes, Energy Fluxes. I was really, really hoping to see one out. So let's go take a look at game number two. And here we go with game number two. lead with a city of brass so kind of the same same problem from before uh, I play land of war elf so a little mana ramp and I play an altered Tormut script uh, that came from LobsterCon. Uh, the crypt is to remove remove the swords to plowshares from the game that he needs to time twister back in to take care of all my creatures ideally um, and he starts with a loa which is very painful um, I get a sylvan out uh, so library, but the cheaper version is library is already doing work for him. He's up one card. In a maze of ith, okay. Both bringing answers. Typically. Typically with uh, the deck, you can use the Sylvan a little bit more aggressively to try and get cards ahead. Um, you know, minus last game where he just came in for the factory beatdown on like turn three or two. Uh, typically you see the deck playing out and, and it's a long play, right? Uh, I did take an extra. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see. Armageddon. He draws with his Loa to get another card out. Uh, but, you know, no blue resources down. I did lose three land, he only lost two. But, I mean, to get the library out of the way, that's, that's worth it on his own. He has to discard a counterspell. Okay, I do take an extra, that was the, the first extra I took. I send in my uh, elves for one. And he misses a land drop, discards a recall, and elves for one again. I have him on 18. I play another, or I play a Birds of Paradise. He plays a Tundra out and passes back. Wow, I feel like um, I have the control here, um, even though it's just a 1-1 one -one sticking in. I am resources up. Okay, he takes out my Sylvan, fair enough. Uses the Disenchant. I just need, I need another creature out there. And the bad thing about the Sylvan being dead is I know the next two cards and they're not what I wanted before. So that's tough. I, I got four mana. It seems like I should have something I could play out. Okay, there's a Felwar Stone. And a Disenchant right back. So I'm keeping him low on resources. Tapping four. Oh, there we go. Second getting. Typically it's the second one that really gets you, right? Um, that was a two for two. He, he lost a Tundra. Or two of his lands and I lost one land in the Armageddon. Gosh, he's got a factory already back. Um, I still stick in for another one. He's down to 15. I'm on 14. Okay, City of Brass. I don't mind that. And love uh, our Gothian Pixies right now. Ooh, that's a that's a good answer. Pump my elf. 
And he's got an answer for it. Elf, gone from the game. I gain one. He loses one from the city. I, I still have all the mana resources I need um, to play everything but Sarah in my deck. There's an Urnum. Okay, good deal. And another Swords. So the city's doing a little bit back to what I was having happen to me the first game. He disenchants my pearl. And plays another factory. Brutal. Okay. I get a sapphire on the draw. Yeah, it's not mana resources I need. Got another tropical island I play out. Pastor Rich, he time walks, uh, takes a point from the time walk, draws again. Ancestral, okay, back to back, fucking good shit. Um, yeah, that's putting him back in the game in a hurry. But I, he's you know, another city of brass, okay. He's on 10, two city brasses, and a swords to plowshare. He just ate my bird alive. I guess that discourages me from firing off another Armageddon. Oh, wow. Another volcanic. Oh, here we go, dib. And a mana drain. He's down to eight. He's got three extra mana in the pool from the dib. Plays out of mox. He's done nothing but hit mana resources since that second Armageddon went off. Uh-oh. That's not good. Twist for two. Oh, no. Plus the uh, dib mana drain. He got it all. Wow. Sarah Angels. Swords to Plowshares. That's what's on top. Okay, energy flux. Eh, it's going to hurt me and him about the same amount. Both have one mox out. It's going to hurt him in the long run a lot more, though. And he counterspells. So he is down to six. I guess we're counting it up. He's at seven. Man, another land, another volcanic island. He's counting. Tapping a lot of things. Oh no, mirror universe. That's not good. I draw land. Um, he's tapping his cities. I guess going to four. Uh, taking me to four. And I don't know if anyone else knows, but Fisher's Factory is a good card. That one... I mean, it typically wins the games for the deck, but um, they did some some heavy lifting uh, those games. So that's it. The deck wins 2-0. Thanks for watching.